Hello everyone and welcome to my RuneScape Classic Guide for uh, Mining. First you want to do with any uh, skill is going to buy the necessary equipment. What you're going to need is a, a pickaxe. Get one from uh, Nor Normuff here. He's the only uh, dwarf who does not carry any weapons or an apron. So he's your an unarmed friend here. He's located in the uh, Dwarven Mines. Dwarven Mines themselves are here in the Ice Mountains. You can also enter from the, uh, towards the bank and go to the door, but you can deal with scorpions. If you're starting out the skill, I assume you're also low level, so I'd, uh, I'd avoid that, uh, pathway. So yeah, let's go back to talking to a Norm Muff. He only sells the best quality pickaxes, they do not break. Go figure. The highest he sells is rune to bronze. If you're cool, you only stay with Adamant because you're poor and broke like me. I advise you at the coinage just to buy all the pickaxes and bank them accordingly and withdraw them when you can use them. Now for the uh, mining spots themselves, I advise you starting out at the uh, mining place of Melzar Maze and uh, above Rimmingdom here. So let me, me, me uh, just uh, feel match of editing up here there. Alright everyone, we've arrived at our destination. You'll notice that these are the uh, cover rocks. If you observe them or prospect them. I've left on the uh, rune sleep sound effects on because we need sound effects. Now, if you're just starting mining out, you'll just be uh, hanging out here for a while. Let me uh, drop my pick here. Now, if you're just doing bronze, it's just going to take you one click, and if you fail, it's going to make you automatically uh, re-click. And that takes a lot of your time, and since I'm, good, <laughs> I'm so good at mining now, I don't really seem to fail with this bronze or uh, copper here. The only uh, tin ore in the spot here is here. It offers the same experience as the, uh, co or the uh, bronze here, copper. So anyway, what you want to do here is mine, mine, and mine. And uh, when you get your levels up to mine coal, you go to the next spot. Now, what's different between uh, RuneScape Classic and RuneScape 2 is you can power mine, which is basically staying in these spots and uh, letting the uh, ores drop out of your inventory. Now, the benefits of doing that are simple. You don't have to uh, go through your items, right-click, drop ore, and that barely uh, makes your uh, mining experience per hour go up. But again, if you want to do if you want to do the other skills in the game, you don't want to do that because you can't be making ores unless you want to buy them. Which if you want money, this really defeats the purpose of dropping your ores. So if you're really interested in mining experience, stick here. Never run into Valley Bank and uh, Banker Ores because there'd be no point. So once again, just uh, keep mining. If your fatigue hits a hundred, you will not be able to get experience, but you can still mine. So, again, if you have a friend, you can have them pick up your ores because you'll be just dropping them on the ground here. Okay, we'll just go to our my world map here and see what we do next. We'll be heading up to again. We'll be entering the uh, ice mountains or the dwarf mines here. So the dwarf mines will be heading towards the scorpions and our start adventure with coal. All right, we are down the stairs and we are surrounded by scorpions. You must be uh, at their level or double their level plus one to be, to be uh, ignored by the monsters. So for these scorpions, you need to be level 42 plus one, so 43. Now, if you're going to mine down here and you're under those levels, you will, I advise you wearing armor and a weapon. If the scorpions get down to a lower HP, they will eventually back off and ignore you. So that's a good thing to look forward to. Again, if you're just mining here, mine the ores in any particular manner, doesn't really matter. Personally, I have always mined, uh, just mine these rocks, these rocks, these rocks in the back, and just uh, swipe these irons and repeat it in a kind of a cycle. I do not advise using this spot directly, but if you're unable to reach Argadog here and uh, using this mining spot, uh, stick here and uh, mine these ores. 
So if you're free to play, free, if everyone open up Classy to free to play, I advise you staying here with your armor and weapons until you uh, can uh, avoid being attacked by the scorpions here. You can mine gold, but it's not as fast as experience-wise as just mining iron. And again, I'll be uh, going to Argado and uh, showing you that spot, which I believe is the best. Until you reach 60, which you can enter the guild. And the guild accepted, there's no bots being present, is the greatest place to get coal gathered. But again, there's not, many, there's not much iron in the sites, so if you're trying to do smithing, yeah, you might want to just gather your coal here and iron separately. So I'm going to go to uh, Argadog now and uh, show you that site. Alright, we are here. This is the best spot to mine your stuff for uh, steel bars. I advise staying here forever. Your only aggressor will be the bears, which... They can be in one because they will block your path if you're trying to mine. So you might have to go around them <laughs> and do that such. So keep that in mind when you're mining here. Again, if you're just planning to level the skill for money, you can stay here for coal or iron or whatever you want, whatever you're selling, whatever you're buying. If you want to just train the skill, again, repeat what you want to do. It's not too hard for mining. I advise staying here. Do not really hunt for tin if you're not making bars for bronze with copper. So for mining, you just want to stick to the uh, ores of your level. So if you want to do this skill, repeat and rinse, repeat. It's not anything difficult, but I do advise banking for other skills because why waste your money when you need to do it yourself, which is a lot slower, but it's a uh, lighter on the pocket weight. And here's an uh, example of where the bears will try to jam you. They'll uh, <laughs> basically corner you at your ass so you can't do anything else but try to walk around them and let them through. Just keep that in mind, they will be aggressive if you attack them first or if you walk near you. Uh, one small point of interest about mining is if you're at 90 uh, fatigue, uh, the game will not allow you to mine um, any copper or any uh, coal anymore. So if when you hit 90 fatigue, the game will say, uh, you're too tired to uh, mine any more coal. This is, just, this is again just to keep bots from uh, mining coal, as there's no way to put the uh, sleep code. Another point of interest, if you are trying to enter the code and are attacked by a monster, it will automatically knock you out of the uh, sleeping bag and uh, you will reta retain your fatigue level. So if you were just at zero fatigue and you weren't fast enough to enter the code, you will ba be back to whatever level you were previously. So yeah, do not use your sleeping bag near monsters while mining because they'll just knock you out of it. All ores can be um, auto dropped from the uh, menu for this manner. They will just drop. So be aware of that if you're trying to mine for a specific ore resource. Always keep some inventory space open. I do not advise if you want to bank your ores to keep a sleeping bag in your inventory. It's going to take around, uh, if you're mining coal and iron at this specific spot in Argado, it's going to take you about three trips before you need to uh, use your sleeping bag once. So I advise keeping that in your bank and using it when you need to recharge. If you've completed the uh, quest that has given you the uh, kitties and kittens, you might uh, raise them when you're mining because that's what I've done. So just again, raise a cat when you do this. It's pretty good uh, influence or uh, income of death runes. So uh, you might want to do that. That is about all for the uh, skill of mining. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, it's not uh, too challenging, even though I've only have 61. It's a slow level, but uh, again, if you're just going to power mine, it's not too hard to level. If you're planning on banking it, it's going to slow you down a bit, but uh, well worth in my opinion. I don't know, that's all for this uh, mining guide.